Hey guys, I have prepared three more healthy recipes that you can eat throughout the week. First, you want to cut up your vegetables. I have chives, shallots, red and green bell peppers, mushrooms, pobano peppers, great tomatoes, spinach, and red potatoes. With my red potatoes, I'm going to add in some olive oil. Then for my potatoes, I'm going to peel it over a medium heat and cover it with a chunk and let it cook for 15 minutes. You know the red potatoes contain potassium and help us maintain our blood sugar levels and boost our immune system. Now let's add my vegetables. I have red bell peppers which contain vitamin C and A, but they're more beneficial when eaten raw. Next, I'm adding in shallots to help fight inflammation. And I'm adding in mushrooms. Mushrooms are more healthy to cook because they contain antioxidants and proteins and they also strengthen the immune system. The beneficial factors in green bell peppers are they contain iron and vitamin C. But pulgana peppers are powerful too because they help fight inflammation and contain vitamin A and C. And chives help fight against diseases and much more. Now I'm adding in my dry spices. I'm adding in complete seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and Lowry seasoning. Combine these ingredients and let them cook for 15 minutes. Next, let's add some spinach. Spinach also supports and boosts the immune system. Then add in some great tomatoes, which aid in skin protection against infections and contain potassium and vitamin C. You want to cover your spinach and potatoes with a lid and let them steam for about five minutes. And here is your vegetable breakfast bowl. The next recipe is baked vegetable taquitos. I'm going to preheat my oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In my skillet, I'm going to pour in some water, then place in my vegetables. I have carrots, beets, purple cabbage, mushrooms, red onions, white onions, jalapenos, and celery. You want to steam your vegetables for at least 15 minutes. Now let's add some garlic seasoning, some black pepper, and sea salt. Let's mix these ingredients, then add in some tomatoes and let the tomatoes steam for about 3 minutes. Next, I'll be using wheat tortillas with flax seeds to make my taquitos. First, I'm going to add my potatoes to the tortilla. Then my black beans, along with my mixed vegetables. Once all the ingredients are in the tortilla, I'm going to roll it like so, and then set the tortilla to the side. I'm going to show you once more how I make these taquitos. All of my taquitos have been placed on this baking sheet and now I'm going to lightly brush these taquitos with olive oil. Then in my preheated oven on 350 degrees, I'm going to place my taquitos in the oven for about 30 minutes. Once your taquitos are out of the oven, add some dipping sauce and then you'll be ready to eat. Also, your taquitos can be served with Spanish rice and refried beans. Next, we have oven roasted butternut squash. Start with preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I have already split my butternut squash down the middle, so the next thing to do is to remove the seeds.
When all the seeds have been removed, take some olive oil and rub the inside of the butternut squash with oil. Then sprinkle on some black pepper and sea salt and place your squash on your baking sheet. You want to turn it over and place it in your preheated oven on 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Here are some of the fresh vegetables that I've cut up thus far. I've cut up jalapenos, tomatoes, mushrooms, green bell peppers, zucchini, garlic, and some more peppers. Now that all the vegetables have been cut up, you want to mix them in your bowl and then add them to your skillet. Next, you want to pour some water in your skillet, then add in your vegetables. Add in some spinach and let your vegetables steam for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove your vegetables from your skillet. After you've cleaned out your skillet, you want to add in 4 cups of water and 2 cups of brown rice. Let your rice come to a boil, then place on your lid and cook your rice for about 20 minutes. Now that your rice is finished cooking, you want to fluff up your rice, add your mixed vegetables, and some seasonings. This The seasonings that I'll be adding are complete seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, a Lowry seasoning, and black pepper. Mix these seasonings in with your ingredients. Now the squash is out of the oven and has cooled down, let's start adding in the stuffing for the squash. You can either add the stuffing to the squash or with your fork remove the inside of the squash. Then mix it in with the filling and place it back into the squash. The squash has been stuffed, so now I'm going to add some seasoning to the top of the rice. I'm adding garlic powder, black pepper, and smoked paprika. Next, we're going to place the squash back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's amazing how the food that you eat help you to maintain a healthy body. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Wait, wait, wait. Let's be more realistic. Just share my channel with at least one or two people. Bye.